Master Objects. Master Objects are located on every page in a section. There's a certain layer in your document that holds Master Objects. Why would you want to use this? Well, let's say you wanted to put a logo on your page and you wanted to have it on every page within a section. What you have to do is you have to move it to the Master Object layer. So let's go and create a Master Object. The first thing we have to do is add an object to our document. So I have my logo here on the desktop and I want to add this to this document. All I have to do is just drag it on here and I've added it in there. Let's go and resize it and put it where we want and a little bit smaller here. Now what you're going to see is I have two pages here. On the first page the logo is there. On the second page it is not. But I want it on both pages. So what I have to do is select the object that I want to make a master object. And I'm going to go to Format here and at the very bottom you're going to see Advanced and at the bottom of that we have Move Object to Section Master. So now when I do this watch what happens. On page 2 there it is. So it's on both of my pages now. And if I go and add some more text here, let's just copy and paste this text, when I go to page 3 it added it to page 3 because it's all part of the same section. Let's say I wanted to move it or resize it. The first thing I have to do is I have to make it selectable. Right now it is not selectable because it's in the background. To do that you go back under Format menu, go to Advanced and you're going to see Make Master Objects Selectable. Now I can actually go and select it and I can go and move it. Maybe I want it over here on the right side. And watch what happens. It moves on every page. Now that I have it where I want it, I can actually go back to Format and make, it, make sure it's not selectable. Now being that this is an object, you can use text wrap, floating and inline. So now let's go and add another section and see what happens. To do that, I go up to the section in the toolbar and I add another section. Now this is a new section and you're going to see it's not there. So that's how you create a master object in Pages.